Hello YouTube, once again I am back. No one can complain at me because I wasn't gone actually that long considering. Like for me, there's definitely been times where I have been gone longer. I'm in my last year you know. I've got a lot go- I'm like saying that like I actually do uni work. I'm like you know what I do a sit and worry about uni work and proceed not to do anything I should be doing. Today I'm going to be doing like kind of like my everyday no makeup makeup basically which is something I do if I'm in like a rush or I just want to look a bit more natural but I'm going to be doing the like no makeup makeup a little bit heavier than I usually would so usually I just put on concealer and then fake freckles and then just like bounce. But I'm going to try and really make it look like I'm not wearing any makeup, but I'm wearing a lot of makeup. <laughs> like foundation and stuff. I usually wouldn't do foundation, but... Also, I got my hair dyed blonde yesterday. This was from bright red, like bright red and really dark roots like down to here. She did like an amazing job. For some reason, there's just a tiny hint of orange like here, but that's about it. But for some reason on camera, it's doing me so dirty and coming up like super orange. But yeah, I'm gonna, I'm getting my extensions, my blonde extensions put in in two days. So I'll do a wee video of something so you can see them. But I'm, I think what I'm getting is the same color extensions, blonde and then black streaks. That'll be fun in case anyone was curious. I literally, I bet no one cares, but like I'm excited. So I'm excited to do some. I really like doing no makeup makeup because it's like a challenge to make it look natural. I'm not so good at being light-handed with my makeup, do you know what I mean? So yeah, I'm going to do that today. Looking like a wee egg, brilliant. I'm going to actually include my skincare in this one because I want you to rate my skincare. I feel like I'm doing something wrong. Basically, my skin actually looks clear right now. Um, I do get issues with tiny little spots. I don't know if you can see them. Focus, please. Yeah, you can see them kind of here. It's just like... I don't know if it's just skin texture like normal, like you, I just won't be able to get rid of that or it's like something I'm doing wrong, who knows. And I'm getting a lot of, which I've never had before, like you can't really see it until I've got makeup on, but like skin texture like here. I don't know if it's like I need to get a different moisturiser, but I'll we'll, we'll see. But basically what I do at night is I just use the avocado melt, occasionally, not all the time. Avocado melt, retinol, sleeping mask, and then I use the eye mask with it. That's by Glow Recipe. Let me know if that's good or not. Um, and then usually in the morning, I go in with Pineapple C Bright Serum by Glow Recipe. And this is the only things I've been doing because I've heard that having a slightly less complicated skincare routine is actually better. And then I take this Hyalur Hyaluronic Booster by... M E plus, I think I got this from like Superdrug. And I just put this all over as well. Before I start my makeup, I put on like a little lip mask. This is the Revolution Tasty Watermelon Lip Mask. Because my lips just are never not dry. I really am looking worse for wear lately, I have to say. I mean, look at me. The bags under my eyes are just getting a bit ridiculous, I have to say. Then I take the Banana Souffle moist Moisture Cream with a eyelash stuck to it. Um, I don't know how I feel about this moisturiser because like it seems to be working. It's just, you know when a moisturiser is not thick enough? I just, I like really thick moisturiser and this is quite, I don't know. You let me know if I should change. I feel like a... Uh, I know makeup, makeup look because skincare must be quite crucial. I can't speak today. Skincare must be quite crucial because you need a good base. You need a glowing base. Basically, what I'm going to start with is the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. Um, I feel like this kind of makes my skin a touch bit dewy. So I'm just going to use this all over my face. Just let that sit for a bit. Well, like a minute. How has everyone been? It's good. January is like the worst time of year. My birthday's in January, just on my birthday. And I really would die to have any other birthday month than January. Because everyone's depressed. It's just been Christmas, no one wants to get you again. <laughs> um, I like being a Capricorn though, don't get me wrong. I love being a Capricorn, but um, yeah. Um, yeah, it's been also, last week was like the worst week ever. My dog, like my dog Sky, 
like goes on dog walks like a couple of times a week with like a big pack of dogs just because um, I live in the city it's like you don't get like amazing places to walk your dog um, and she basically ate human poo that had some kind of hard medication or drugs in it and she got very 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 unwell um, she was basically drugged through poo her love of poo snaked her in the end um, and I got like a hefty vet bill and she was really unwell for a wee bit there she was on like a drip and everything I was so stressed out because the vet wasn't even saying like oh like she's okay they were just kind of like she's the same she's the same we'll see there was never like she's gonna be okay do you know what I mean so I just stressed out my nut and then my I've had like two of my rats die in the past like months and those are like, if people have been following me for a while, like my bald rats, if anyone remembers them. I've only got two rats left now, but um, yeah, he was like my little pal. And he died like the day after my dog got really sick. And I was like, have I done something in a past life? Or am I, have I done something when I was younger and the karma is just now coming back to kick me while I'm down? I don't know. Let me start the makeup. Sorry, I'm chatting so much. I feel like I'm socially deprived or something. I'm taking the Milk Makeup Sunshine Skin Tint and uh, this is in shades... Oh, light. <laughs> um, this is like a really light foundation mixed with um, SPF. So it's really handy actually, especially in summer. I use this all the time in summer. Um, but it's so light that I'm using it for this. It's also... Puts a little bit of colour back in my skin. I'm just gonna blend it out because look, right, I'm not this pale in real life. You could, I look white in the viewfinder, like grey. But I'm, this camera just doing me so dirty today. I think my bedroom's like backlit, so like I'm getting no sun through my window. It's just like grey light in all the time. I'm gonna put a little bit down my neck because there's a slight <laughs> colour imbalance. I feel. I'm just gonna take the Fenty Beauty Concealer in 150 and I'm just gonna shall I zoom in a little bit. I'm balancing my camera on like a pair of scissors, so uh, yeah, I'm just gonna go in here and then up here. And just a tiny amount on like any discoloration because I feel like concealer will kill the natural vibe. I'm gonna put a tiny bit on my eyelids because they're so discoloured. And I'm just gonna blend that out as well. But what I'm going to do next, I am very much running out of this. It's the Contour Wand by um, Charlotte Tilbury. I'm pretty sure this got super popular because of Madison Beer, right? Um, and this is in Fear. It's in fair medium. Um, this gives quite a natural glow if I can get any out of it. I'm just gonna go. I saw a thing on TikTok that was like, just put a dot right here and it makes you look like you've got really good cheekbones. But to be fair, my face is like skeletal. So I um, don't really need to be doing that because my bone structure is almost maybe a little bit too jarring. <laughs> But yeah, uh, I'm gonna go like this as well, like eyeshadow. Um, I'll come back to the nose contour. This that isn't just that, by the way. This blends really nicely, so it's a bit more natural, I think, than like powdered contour slash bronzer. I'm gonna take this blush by um and other stories ago in like the clothes store and other stories. Um, it's Burnt Cinnamon Cheek and Lip Tint. It's, I'm using this cause I feel like if you got like a little sunburn, it would maybe come up this color. Cause like a color like this, like a peachy color, I feel like isn't natural. People's cheeks aren't naturally peachy early. So I'm gonna take my finger and just, I really love this blush. I'm getting into pink blush as well. I used to be like about pink blush, but um, it was that Kylie Jenner blush or something, right? Like the pink one that made everyone go crazy for pink blush. 
I'm such like a sheep. I'm like, oh, I hate pink blush. And then as soon as it's popular, I'm wearing it like all the time. But this is like a red blush. This isn't pink, obviously. I'm just putting it like all the way around. Like I've got like a kind of a little sunburn. It's so funny. I'm trying to make it look like I've seen the sun and you should see how grey it is outside. It's literally like, there's no colour in the sky, there's no colour in anything. Scotland is a very depressing place to live. I have to say. And now I'm using the Barry M Freckle Tint. And um, this is sometimes annoying because the freckles can look kind of unnatural. But I've run, uh, my other freckle pencil has just run out, so um, I'm very upset. Actually, I'm not going to use this. Like, you see this, like, colour? This burnt colour is not the colour of my freckles. So it just doesn't look right. So a colour like this is what I would use, but this pencil is not great either. I'm going to try it. Actually, it's okay. This is if anyone's curious. Brow This Way Professional Pencil by Rimmel London in 003 Blonde. So I feel like you don't need to waste your money on like freckle products. You can just go to your like local super drug and get an eyebrow pencil that's made for lighter eyebrows and then you get like a kind of natural freckle rather than like, <laughs> I'm about to say something controversial. What a pet peeve I do have is really harsh fake freckles. I just, I can't get on board with them. And somebody's used like, a really dark pencil and they've got very fair skin. I can smell my nerves. You can cancel me if you want, I'm very sorry, but apologies, you hate me. It does actually, to be fair, it looks cute on some people. I'm just projecting because it looks awful on me. I feel bad saying that about the harsh freckles now. Because it's literally, I'm just projecting. It's like people call other people ugly when they're like really hot, same vibe. <laughs> Okay, I'm going in with the Milk Makeup Loose Powder and Translucent Light. I'm trying not to be too heavy with the powder because something else I do. I'm just heavy handed with makeup. It's like natural, like it's naturally in me. I always have been. So I'm just hitting all the points that usually are greasy. What I'm going to do now is use the Charisma Contour Palette by Kaleidos. Um, and I'm using, obviously, very well used, this contour shade. And I'm just going to contour my nose. Just up here. Take my fingers and blend it out a little bit. I'm just going to take this MAC eyebrow pencil and stud and just do some fake beauty spots. Or go over the ones that I have. No. <laughs> No, okay, I'll get to carry the way. Time for the brows. I have shaved my eyebrows off once again. As you can see, they're very small. <laughs> I do this like once every month, every two months. I just shave them really small for a specific makeup look and then I have to deal with them.
they are not ideal because, like, you know, super light, super dark, same vibe, but I don't want them to be, don't want them to be, like, super, super dark with my light hair, so. I'm just gonna clean them up a little bit with concealer. This usually isn't, doesn't take this long, um, but I am farting about so much. Let me clarify, farting about means just like messing about, not like, I'm not just sitting here farting. But yeah, that's why I'm take, I just take so long when I'm filming, because I feel like I've got a hundred things to say. And all of it is pointless. <laughs> what I'm gonna do next is my eyes. My only life hack for looking like no makeup vibes, ouch, is just not putting mascara on your under eye. I don't know if this is just a me thing, but it does make you look fresh. I don't know how to explain that. Like, I'd, I've got quite big eyes as well. It makes my eyes look a lot less harsh. Because if I put a lot of makeup underneath my eye, I just look... Steve Buscemi-ish. I just look a bit like my eyes are a lot. <laughs> Taking this MAC mascara and Extreme Dimension 3D Black Lash. And I'm just gonna go on my, just the tops of my eyelashes. Um, I think I'm going to add some individual lashes just to the ends of my eyes. I'll see how they look. Um, they might not work out, but we'll see. And these are the Chi Glam Glam Cowgirl lashes. And they're just, as you can see, these little guys. What I'm gonna, hmm, I don't know what to do actually. Try and make it look like I'm wearing no lipstick. Okay, I'm gonna use the e.l.f. XX Gen Aiken um, lipstick and lip pencil. And I've lost the lid, both lids, but it's this kind of color. <laughs> and it matches my lips quite well. Okay, you get the idea. Gonna overline as usual. Yeah, as usual, overline these two bits, follow the natural lip line that way. I'm taking this and Dollar Stories lipstick in. Brody Noax, Noax, Noix. Butchered that. Um, I'm just taking a tiny bit of my finger in the inner corner. Inner corner, inner section. Just going to take some all nighter setting spray. And I'm just going to do my hair a little bit. And then I will be back with the finished look and slightly better lighting because everything is just the wrong colour right now. Okay, this is the finished look and like super, like way better lighting. And my living room is a mess. Um, yeah, so as you can see also my hair is not orange. Um, yeah, so this is it. Um, as you can see it's a lot more flattering in this lighting. But yeah, that's about it. I hope you liked it. Maybe I should film in here rather than my bedroom, but all my makeup's there, you know. Yeah, uh, thank you for watching again. 
I am trying to post regularly, I promise. I'm not lying. I'm not lying, I promise. Yeah. Um, expect a few videos. I've got some plans for videos. That's the thing I struggle with most is actually planning a video um, that's interesting and that people would actually watch. Because the things that I would make are probably very boring as well. But yeah, um, let me know what you'd also like to see if there's anything other than like makeup. Yeah. Might do a day in the life, although my days in the life are very boring. Yeah, uh, I will see you next time. Hope you're doing well. I'm sending love. Okay, bye. Goodbye.